Hey guys, I'm Rich Woods from NeoWin. Today we're talking about build 10586.122 for Windows 10 Mobile. Um, normally I make a build right away. In fact, I'm, I'm getting kind of known for, for a build coming out and having a video about it just in a couple hours. Right, but we've been seeing these cumulative updates a lot lately. And what I end up doing is I end up making these videos where I just kind of get up there and I say, well, it's kind of too early to know if this build fixes all the issues we've been having. Um, I don't know if I'll still get random reboots and it's too early to tell. And I, I just kind of say, I'll get back to you. And then that's it. Um, and I didn't want to do that with this build. I, I wanted to, to wait a few days and I've seen a lot of requests for, for videos about this build. So now that it's been a few days and I can speak a little bit more authoritatively about it, um, now, now I can say I haven't had any problems with this build. Now, they did announce quite a bit of fixes with this build. They didn't announce any known issues, which um, they tend to not do that with the cumulative updates because the cumulative updates are technically, they're release preview updates. So these are slated to come to the production ring. Whether they make it or not is another story, but they're slated to come to the production ring eventually. So saying that there's a known issue coming to the production ring is kind of kind of not the, the best idea, which is why I think they don't do that. Um, we'll get back to those fixes in a moment. I, wanted, I just want to talk about the general user experience that I've had um, since I've been using this since March 2nd when it came out, which has been four days. Um, I haven't had any problems with this build. Um, I haven't had any uh, random reboots, app crashes. Everything generally works fine. Um, and I've been using the 830 in that time, and I haven't had problems, but I have no noticed problems with other phones. Okay, so that takes me to the Lumia 535. Now the Lumia 535 has been a troublesome phone on the Windows 10 Mobile Insider Preview since day one. Okay, I'll take you into the camera here and you'll see um, that it doesn't fill the screen. Um, it's better than it used to be. It used to kind of flicker between full screen and what you're seeing here. Um, it does the same thing at 16 by nine as well. Um, and another problem that we have is in games, okay? So let's open up a game. I believe we have Temple Run on here. Yes, we do. Now you see that it doesn't fill this bar at the bottom. The, the, the task bar goes away, but it doesn't fill that bar. So you're not playing games at full screen. Now, once you, once you um, start playing the game, you're actually missing a portion. It's not just scaling the game down to this size, right? We're going to see right here that it's actually cutting off part of the game. All right, see that pause button is cut off down there, right? And you actually, it doesn't even fit the taskbar. The taskbar is a little bit bigger than that black chunk that's missing, okay? So 535 users, you're still gonna have trouble as far as I've seen. Now the 535 has always had touchscreen issues um, or, you know, I, I obviously I know a lot of people that haven't had these touchscreen issues, but this one does. And I know that it's a known issue with the 535. So it's not in the best shape. It's, it's kind of odd that this phone is slated to be one of the first phones to be upgraded to Windows 10 Mobile. It's on their, on their list. Um, so back to the 830. But um, also, um, I've heard reports. I haven't upgraded my 930 or Goldie Senior um, to, to Windows 10 Mobile, or it's not currently on Windows 10 Mobile. I've heard that people are still having trouble recording video. Um, and what, what that issue was, if people would try to record video and it wouldn't record, it wouldn't record the audio. So I've heard that's still an issue. I've spoken to people with Microsoft, as people in Microsoft about this. Um, they told me that they're working on it. They know it's an issue, um, but they couldn't give me a timeline for a fix. So take that how you will. So here are the actual fixes in this build. So if you've been having a specific problem that you're hoping they'll fix, I can let you know if they fix it in, the, in this list. Improved Kenji support experience while using Continuum. Improved the speed in which thumbnails appear for portrait videos. All right. Improved internet sharing on select mobile network configurations. Fixed an issue in Microsoft Edge that prevented word flow, 
input on some sites. Um, now about that, we have the we have the word flow input over here um, in the taskbar, and that was some, that was one of the features in one of the redstone builds. I almost thought that that we didn't have it for a second. I realized that we do now. Um, they they seem to be bringing a lot of these redstone features to 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 the production builds, um, and really these redstone builds. And you kind of you can ask what features we've actually seen from redstone so far. Most of it is really minor stuff, despite the fact that we've had quite a few features. Most of it is really minor, and some of the cool stuff has already been brought to the to the production ring, like being able to send um, a photo through Skype in the messaging app. Um, so the big stuff that's going to come in Redstone, we're going to hear about it built. Obviously, this is the stuff they have to tell developers. That's why that's why Apple announces Mac OS 10 at WWDC along with iOS. You have to tell developers about what's going to change with the APIs, right? Um, Fixed an issue where adding your Microsoft account during OOBE would fail and prevent the account from being re-added after the failure. Improve the email sync experiences when connecting to Wi-Fi networks with a captive portal. Improve data connection profiles for dual SIM devices. Updated background processing of multiple changes to, to improve battery life of devices. Improved quality of video record to SD memory cards. Improved video recording audio in some cases. Improved overall OS reliability, including reliability of the start screen, app updates, and the Windows feedback app. Improved alarm reliability. Now, they said they improved the quality of improved video recording audio in some cases. Um, like I said, I've heard reports. Um, I mean, you can look on the, the comments on YouTube. Some people have told me that, that they're unable to record audio with the 930 on this build. Um, I'm going to upgrade my 930 to check. I will annotate this video to update it if I find that I can record audio because that's a big deal for Lumion 930 users. This is a big problem for a while. Microsoft also added support for a few new phones with this build. Now keep in mind, this build is only available to the slow ring and the release preview ring. If you're using a phone that's not supported for the Redstone builds, meaning you're, if any phone that's shipped with Windows Phone 8.1 and supports the preview, um, you have to switch from the fast ring to either the slow ring or the release preview ring to get this build. Um, if you're in the fast ring, you're going to be stuck on 105.86.107. Uh, the fast ring is reserved for those redstone builds. The release preview ring is reserved for these cumulative updates. Now, when your device is upgraded to Windows 10 through the production ring, it will support these new redstone builds, or they will start to add devices once they start upgrading them. So devices that they added was MCJ Medasma Q501, Blue Win HD W510U, Blue Win HD LTE X150Q, and the Alcatel One Touch Fierce XL. Now, um, a few weeks ago, we, we got an update to the Windows Device Recovery Tool that added these exact devices. And what that, what that usually means is that they're coming to the, to the Insider Preview. When we saw the Redstone build, it added the Alcatel One Touch Fierce XL support. Um, but it didn't add the other three because the other three are Windows Phone 8.1 devices that still haven't been upgraded to Windows 10 through the production ring. So now these are being added because it's a cumulative update. Um, but again, release preview ring or slow ring. Fast ring will get you redstone if you have a device that's supported. If you don't have a device that's supported, you'll get redstone when they say you can. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'm Rich Woods from NeoWin. Um... I highly suggest subscribing to this channel. It is the best channel in the universe. There should be a little white box below me that, that you can click on. That's going to turn into a thing that says subscribe here. It's the best channel in the universe. Anyway, guys, I'm Rich Woods from Neo Win, and have a great night.